before I begin with the content of this video, I just wanted to do an activity that will show you my chest cavity. The reason being is that I did get a lot of uh, DMs in Instagram regarding my lungs. So right now they are absolutely fine. My respiratory health is absolutely fine even after I reverse the condition. So this activity that I'll be sharing with you in this video, I normally do this in the shower and when I'm with my wife, when we drive, so we just sing along and things. So here it goes. I can read your mind and I know your story. I see what you're going through. Yeah, it's an uphill climb and I'm feeling sorry. But I know it will come to you, yeah. So don't surrender, cause you can't win in this thing called love. When you want it the most, there's no easy way out. When you're ready to go and your heart's left in doubt, don't give up on your faith. Love comes to those who believe in, and that's the way it is. As you all know, I'm from the Philippines, and in the Philippines, singing is quite a common thing that every household do. <laughs> okay, I mean, I'm not very good at singing. I mean, I'm okay, I guess. But the purpose of doing that really is for you to determine that I'm not struggling when it comes to expanding my chest. So when we sing, it's actually considered as a full body workout sometimes because it involves the four primary muscles in our uh, larynx and some of our uh, muscles in our rib cage, in our chest area. Sometimes some people, they do require the muscles in their back but the whole idea why I did that is really for you to know that when you reverse dermatomyositis, which really involves a severe muscle weakness, it is possible that you are going to be well for good, as you can see in this video. If you've seen my part one video, you have noticed my hair was like around this uh, level and I've shown a lot of video footage of my hands and some images of my overall well-being and the reason that that video did not get a follow-up sooner than I should have uploaded is because last year was my final year in completing my education I needed to devote last year's time to submit all the requirements needed for my graduation. It was a very intense <laughs> last year of my naturopathic nutrition course, so apologies that it did not have a follow-up video immediately. So as of me uploading this video on YouTube, it's been two years and ten months since I came off from metatextrate. I can't even pronounce that <laughs> the drug until now. Prednisolone, two years and uh, seven months. This is really a living example that you can absolutely reverse the condition. Now, if you haven't watched that part one video, I'm gonna uh, provide the link in the description. In fact, my long-term goal in this YouTube channel, I will be uploading one video every single year as to showing every single audience or every single individual who came across my videos in YouTube how I am doing. You did uh, hear me saying that it was my final year last year. So last month I actually attended my graduation. It was an incredible day 
you know why it's not just the fact that i went on top of the stage and you know shook hands with these two beautiful ladies in our college it's not just that it was incredible because i was surrounded by fellow colleagues that are entering the war zone of helping people who are in need of desperate help when it comes to improving their health ailments through naturopathy, through natural approach, through really going deep into the root cause. Some of you may be familiar with holistic approach, but actually that's such a broad word. There are different branches underneath it. What I would like to kind of describe to every single client that I work with these days is that I am a naturopathic practitioner that focuses on the root cause of why you're currently experiencing headaches. Not just like mild headaches, but crazy, crazy headaches all the time. And many other symptoms like constipation, diarrhea, and so on. It was also amazing because last year of December, on my birthday, I received my diploma. And that was the best birthday <laughs> present ever. I got the email from the college that, Vanessa, you got a merit. Merit is basically in between distinction and pass. So we have the highest distinction, and then merit and then pass to get to the middle which is quite nice really so it was absolutely amazing since i reversed the condition me and my significant other Alyssa, she's been through the hard times so every step of the way as i was overcoming this very debilitating condition i remember my first travel or technically our first travel after the lockdown we decided to go to the West Midlands. That was really interesting because I was still very tight, tight like my muscles, uh, sitting, getting out from the taxi and so on. But I was so determined that I really, really want to test myself. I actually told her, yo, we managed, <laughs> we managed to get here with no issues. I was just so happy that there was no problems or delays and I was generally impressed with myself from the journey. At the time, I was not overdoing certain things. Definitely, I was, again, listening to my body. I wasn't overexerting. You know, I was just taking it slow. So that was September. And then in December, we decided to go to... Essex and then Suffolk. Then October 2021, we went to Switzerland, specifically in Bern, the capital of Switzerland, because we got invited into a uh, fashion show, which was beautiful. It was actually uh, sponsored by the Philippine Embassy. It was just really, really nice to do the things that I love doing with Alyssa without any problem. As far as I can remember, there was no issues me traveling and so on. But with food, I was still very, very cautious. Now I'm very flexible. But at the time, I didn't want to do something silly that I will regret later on. And then we also traveled to Barcelona. And then uh, I almost forgot to mention around summertime, I went ahead and surprised my grandma in Barcelona. So this was another trip that we did. We went back again to Barcelona for the purpose of meeting my grandma. It was amazing because I was literally surprising every single family member, my aunt, my cousins. <laughs> I just, we just showed up in the cruise and we're like, hey. And then they were all like, what are you doing here? <laughs> so it was amazing. Just the good times. And then December 2022, I went to Thailand, spent my Christmas with my in-laws and Alyssa there. Then last month, I surprised my dear parents. So um, I haven't been to the Philippines for 14 years. So since I left, I never ever visited the Philippines. 
And to see my parents' reaction from my arrival without them knowing that I was actually going. <laughs> oh, it was priceless. It was truly, truly priceless. Because my mom was like, I thought I'm dreaming, you know. I I was just so happy because I managed to kind of see some of my relatives as well. You know, to see my brother for a very, like, again, 14 years. And his kids, his wife. So without me actually being proactive in finding a solution to this condition, I would have never enjoyed those stories that I shared with you. I would have never surprised my grandma in Barcelona. I would have never surprised my parents. I am currently helping a lot of clients, but one of the biggest like breakthrough as a brand new practitioner is really my mother's story because she was so yellow and i've mentioned this in one of the uh, video lessons in my five day revitalize mini course you can check it out in the description that something interests you it was an incredible thing because obviously when i came last month to visit them. I saw my mom. She looks so well. Even her vitality improved. We managed to reduce her pain scale from 9 out of 10 to 0 out of 10. And that was obviously hard work from both parties. So from me really coaching her, you can do this mom. <laughs> and I was trying to remind her that you've got to believe in yourself. That you will get through this. And I was reminding her, like, if I did not believe in myself, I would have never reversed the condition. And I wouldn't be here helping you resolve your condition. So that is really something very impactful for me. I've never thought I would end up in this path. But through that diagnosis that I received in end of 2019, I was supposed to not make it uh, for six months. That was the consultant's uh, comment. But somehow I am here and you are listening to me. It really depends how you respond to the situation. One of my favorite quotes uh, by Epictetus, a Stoic philosopher, he said, it's not what happens to you, but how you respond to it matters. So I looked at that challenge when I was diagnosed, when I was going through the symptoms, the pain on a daily basis as a challenge. And I told myself that perhaps the universe is testing me as to what I'm capable of. And that is exactly how I got to where I am today. Whenever I share my story to people that I meet, I've never actually used this phrase. I have dermatomyositis. I always say, I was diagnosed with dermatomyositis. Both phrases are completely different meaning. The first one, it's almost like saying that dermatomyositis is part of me for the rest of my life. You know, when you say, I have dermatomyositis. I didn't really want to perceive it that way. That's why I never ever use that phrase. When you say, I was diagnosed with dermatomyositis, I have acknowledged that this was the label that the consultants used to describe the various symptoms that I was experiencing. But at the same time, I know that just like anything in life, nothing is permanent. Just by reframing everything that happened to me, that actually helped me reverse the autoimmune condition. So. To end this video, I do hope you realize why I picked that song in the very beginning. That's the way it is. Because every line of that song really is a reminder that if you believe in yourself, if you absolutely believe in yourself, I'm not kidding, you can get through this, okay? And as of this day, as I am uploading this video, I am the only one in the entire United Kingdom who successfully reversed dermatomyositis 
with no medications. And I still see my rheumatologist regularly because I want to stimulate my consultant's curiosity. I want them to really start thinking outside the box. What does nutrition play with autoimmune diseases and homeopathy? Even if I keep saying it in front of their face, they tend to not listen very much, but that's okay. And I will keep coming into my <laughs> catch-up uh, meetings or appointments with them just so that they will really see that I am absolutely fine. And the next time I see my rheumatologist, hopefully next month, I am going to tell her that it depends if, if it's just her or the rest of the team will be there, that I am a practitioner. I have started seeing clients and helping people. If you are brand new to my YouTube channel, please do me a small favor. The best way that you can support the channel is to watch every single video that you haven't seen yet. Consider yourself subscribing if you want to see more content such as this one because I will be uploading on a weekly basis. And if you're watching this video and was diagnosed an autoimmune condition, remind yourself this. You will get through it no matter what. You have to remind yourself that every single day. Keep fighting and I will see you in the next video. Bye.